What is up, YouTube? This is Rachel here with Ray Ray's Tech, and I've got the Blue Life Play here in blue, and I've also got the Blue Life Play here in pink. If you guys have watched my other videos, I've also got the Blue Life Play in that yellowish neon green color, but since that one's already been opening, it's not going to be a true unboxing, but I've got these two devices here. I'm actually going to go ahead and go with the pink one, just because... So I'm going to do a full unboxing of this phone. Now granted, I've already put the battery in the phone, so it's not completely taken off the tape and everything, but still it's going to be a great unboxing to show you guys what really comes in the packaging and what you get when you first get this device. Before I get into the nitty gritty of what's inside this box, I kind of want to go through some of the specs that Blue has went ahead and listed for us here on the exterior. Um, the kind of things that stuck out to me are the fact that it has 4G HSPA+, which is totally appropriate seeing as to the fact that most prepaid companies only really support 4G HSPA+, so that's completely appropriate. Um, it's running a quad-core processor, 1.2 gigahertz. It's got a 4.7-inch high-definition display. Um, it's got an 8-megapixel on the back with flash, 2-megapixel camera on the front, um, and that camera does 1080p at 30 frames per second. It's also got 4 gigabytes of internal memory and 1 gigabyte of RAM. And it's running 4.2 Jelly Bean. So, honestly, like I said before, this device is not by any means high-end, but it's definitely a great mid-range kind of multimedia device. All right, so going ahead and taking apart this device here, we've got the Blue Life Play and kind of like a little cradle here. Pop it out of that cradle the cradle to the side and you guys can see actually pretty slim profile I've got my my uh, black iPhone it's in the leather case I don't know how fair this truly is but uh, one thing on my desk here and as you can see it's probably about comparable to the size of my iPhone without the leather case on so definitely very slim and kind of sleek device uh, moving on here this is the packaging where the battery was in which is already in the phone this is what the phone came in as well. Here we've got the uh, USB charging cable and um, kind of standard in white. We've got the uh, adapter here. So you plug in the cable to the adapter, plug it into the wall. And it also comes with some kind of low end headphones. Um, not the best, but if you don't have any headphones, then hey, it's better than nothing. And the cool thing that I love about Blue is the fact that everybody knows there's not too many standard OtterBox or ballistic cases out there for Blue. So Blue went ahead and made their own types of cases. So um, it's not by any means a truly strong case. It's kind of gummy and, and soft type of case. But it's cool because it still matches the phone, and at least it's a free case that came with the device. Now it retails for around $230, so you're getting a good deal for sure with everything that comes with it. You get a uh, small kind of basic user's manual, um, comes with it, and you also get a screen protector that comes with the device, which I really think is pretty cool that they also include a screen protector for free that comes with the device. So... With that being said, screen protector, case, they want your phone, you know, to be, make sure it's covered and everything. So I really appreciate that Blue kind of did that for its customers. Under the hood here, I went ahead and popped off the back cover. Um, the Blue Life Play comes with an 1800 milliamp hour battery. Um, to be honest, um, in today's day and age of technology, that's not the best type of battery. But it is, you know, pretty decent for, like I said before, and I'll say again, a mid-range phone. The cool thing that I love about Blue products is the fact that they also have dual SIM card slots here on the back. Um, you can he see here that SIM slot 1 kind of takes a smaller SIM, it's actually a micro SIM is what it takes, and SIM slot 2 actually takes a full size SIM that's not cut down. And one SIM slot is faster than the other, so one slot's 4G and the other one is 1X or, or Edge. So not as fast. But the purpose of this is if in case you guys are ever traveling, let's say you guys take a luxurious cruise and you have your blue phone and you're in another country and you need to make a, a call, maybe something's happened, you can go and pick up a SIM card, kind of switch from your primary SIM that maybe you had here in the States 
and get us something kind of secondary for for your traveling needs. Peeling off this plastic piece, you guys will be able to take full effect of the uh, screen for the first time. I'm going to power on this bad boy and see how quickly, first of all, it boots up. So you can see in SIM slot 1, SIM slot 2, I don't know if you guys caught that up here at the top, um, kind of indicates that you can kind of switch between slots. And we're going to go ahead and unlock this bad boy. And you guys can kind of, I don't know if my camera here is really doing the screen justice, but really everything pops and it's really crisp and clear. The fin is actually really responsive. Um, in terms of no lag time or anything, you guys can really see that. 1.2 gigahertz processor going to work there and honestly I would say that this phone is not a bad phone at all um, I know that if I had kids I'd probably you know start them off with blue and then if they did well with blue I'd kind of move them on to higher end phones but I honestly say that if you were in the market for something that's colorful, colorful sorry um, and looks really good and really pops and catches people's eye, then I would get definitely go with something like the Blue Life Play. Um, <clears throat> I also like the fact that these fins are really kind of like attacking that market that Apple has made with the colorful fins. So you know how the iPhone 5C is really colorful and kind of pops. So the Blue went ahead and made their own kind of series of, of fins that really are colorful and pop as well. Um, and that really shows the Play series. So, <clears throat> I would definitely recommend this phone if you want something that's high-end um, without a high-end price. Um, I maybe look at something else that Blue offers, but if you're kind of looking for like a mid-range phone that's kind of colorful and pops and it's just something different than what you're used to, then I definitely recommend the Blue Life Play. I know this phone came out actually in March 2013, so I'm kind of late on doing these reviews, but in all honesty, Blue is really starting to take off right now, so... It's still a video that matters and should be useful to you guys. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I am Rachel here with Ray Ray's Tech. This is my unboxing video of the Blue Life Play. If you guys like what you saw, go ahead and give me a shout in the comments below, and then I'll go ahead and do a full review. But until then, I will catch you guys next time, and thank you guys again for watching. See ya.